Oi, oi. How you doing? Today, I want to make a slingshot. I have a go at it anyway. I cut this pattern out. Oh, yeah. Cut that out. I want to make it out of this PVC piping here. Walls seem pretty thick. So, I'll see how that works. I'll, I've marked out where I've got a cut. And you'll see there, at least plenty of room to trace it on and cut it out with axe or. Well, I just can finish marking it. I couldn't cut straight to save my life. But, uh, you know, it's my way through. I'll speed the uh, pain. Okay, now we have our piece. I'm taking it on top of the stove, heat it up, and flatten it. That way I'll double my thickness. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, back here. That turned out alright. Flattened up pretty good. Nice round edge, that one. This one didn't fare so well though. I don't think it mustn't have been hot enough. But the idea is to keep that rounded edge as the top. That's where the uh, rubber's going to go and come over the top. So it's going to be an over the top slingshot. So we put that there. I'll put my cover on. My cover. My template on and cut it out draw it in okay and then we've got the line the lines up with the top put some pressure down Could do better than I'm doing now. Oh, it's a rough guard anyway. It's going to be even worse if I only got a hacksaw and a couple of flies to cut it out with. Oh, I'm going to have to invest in a rotary tool one day and continue to do this sort of stuff. Alright. Now the front part, eh? So I'm going to have to turn this off because this is going to shake the, shake the table so I don't know how the footage is going to turn out. So far so good. I made a little table here with the 
the bucket and a bit of timber so I can uh, so as you can see oops oh shit I'm that far through so it's not going to be too bad unfortunately I can't I need a oops I need another hand actually another arm so I'm going to hold the camera and film yeah it's not too bad it's coming along alright Keep cutting bits out. That's all I can do, and then uh, bloody got a file here. I don't know it's flat, but it'll I'll make it work. And I've got a round file too. Small round file. Not the ideal tools, but a. Eh? Make do with what you got. Right, here we have it. I cut her as much as I can with axle. And she's rough as guts, but it's what the files for, eh? Smooth her out. So it wasn't too bad to cut out. Seems pretty sturdy. Double thickness. There's a just a quick update. I'm gonna hit it with this the metal files, but it's all I've got. Hit it with that, round it out, and smooth it off with the uh, I don't know what you call this bastard file. But it, uh, it's a finer, a finer gauge or so, or whatever you call it. Yeah, so I'll get back to it. I'll bring you back when I've ooh, put my finger over the lens. Well, oof. it's not round. You may have noticed a bit over the uh, flat fiber anyway. I got around the corners so there's no actual corners. The main part is this is still smooth as a baby's bum. It uh, yeah, it's coming along nice. Just smooth that out and then yeah. So far so good. Right, here we go. A little bit more done. This whole side been down, just moved over. See, oh, pretty close to thumb rest. Not far off. And that's it looks there in the finger like that. Like lovely. It's quite nice. Feels pretty comfortable. Just got to smooth out the other side now. Let's see how we go. I'll come back when it's finished. Right, there we go. All finished. Nice thumb rest, finger rest. Good for aiming. Could do with a bit of a palm swell, but nice flat, easy fit in your pocket. What I'm gonna do? Put the bands on. I'm gonna put double bands, little six mil bands. I'll drill a hole there on both sides. Slip the uh, Fold the band in half, slip it through, and then just slip it over over the fork. And then what'll happen? Then I'll pull it. I'll shoot it from the other side, so the the fork 
the rubber will fold over the forks and that'll be a top shooter I don't actually have any rubber at the moment so oh there we go and it come out too bad do you well thanks for watching